and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Nami Lux is our next deck of the day. So where this deck came from is we have seen with Nami how good Double Trouble is, right? Like in these Nami Zoe decks or Nami other things, like we we started to play a lot of Double Trouble in this that we didn't right away because you know right away we're we weren't you know Double Trouble hasn't really seen any play, didn't think too much about it, but a very strong play pattern has been save spell mana round one, save spell mana round two, play double trouble round three, and then save that other three spell mana, and then round four you can, then now you've saved six spell mana, round four you can play any spell, and then play Nami, and Nami attunes for that, that seven. So that's how we level up Nami, round four. And that's been a very strong play pattern that we've seen. So what I wanted to do here is I was thinking, you know, I was thinking about that play pattern, and I was thinking, you know, seeing Secession, I'm like, okay, well, we could have another Double Trouble, right? So you can just more consistently be able to do that same play pattern uh, as the Double Trouble with Secession as well. So I wanted to combine Secession and Double Trouble in a Nami deck, and then thinking, all right, well, what, where do we go from there? Decided to go with Lux, because Lux wants us to play a lot of spells, and so Nami wants us to play a lot of spells, especially after leveling up. And so I thought, well, what if we just, you know, what are, we're able to play a deck that's basically all spells with Nami and Lux. We have Blinding Assault as another uh, spell that gets us a unit. Of course, you know, like we have lots of other good spells in these regions as well. So that's what we're going to do. We're playing a deck, you know, you have Remembrance, the spell that's also a unit. We're playing a deck that's almost all spells. All we have is Nami and Sprayfin from Bilgewater. And then Radiant Guardian and Lux from Demacia. Those are our, the those are the only units in the deck. The rest spells, um, and uh, yeah. So I want to see how it does. So basically, we should have a handful of spells that helps out both champions. So we should be giving a whole lot of permanent plus two plus one buffs, making a whole lot of final sparks and stuff like that. So maybe it'll do well, maybe it won't. But you know, it's it's going to be a good test and just a, a fun deck to play. So let's try it out. We're gonna go play five games in ranked with Nami Lux. Yeah, and Hamster says I feel the problem with this deck could be that our units won't like we won't get rewarded as as much with the Nami buffs without having elusives or overwhelms, and that's that could very very well happen. All right, so Teemo, Caitlyn, line them up. Going to be good against Teemo. Let's keep a line them up. We do really want to find like Nami. Like Nami is going to be the if we had to pick like one card in our opener to have, it'd be Nami. But I'll keep the line up for that. Just a removal spell for um, Teemo. And then let's go looking for Nami. Cool. I smell rat. Yeah, Stony Suppressor. <laughs> yeah, Stony Suppressor would be kind of rough on us, wouldn't it? Nami. That is not Nami. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Like a fish in water. I think we have to pressure our opponent because if we just sit back against Puff Caps, it's probably going to be a recipe for disaster. Hello there. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Would a mushroom help? And I would have liked them trading there. Okay, so we're going to line them up and make it rain. Hmm. Obviously hoping that we could do damage to all three of them. 
That would have been the best case scenario. So entrapment is it so it's just on units? Okay, yeah, it's just on units. So one of those units is gonna have a ton of puff caps. Not exactly sure which one. But one of them will. It's Radiant Guardian. And obviously our very top card was Radiant Guardian. So that gives them that information that we're going to have Radiant Guardian on top. Like, so they, they know about Radiant Guardian. Like, I could attack for three and then try to, you know, try to trade and play Radiant Guardian afterwards. But I think they, they realize that that's that card. So I don't think they block. So I'm basically playing Lux here first because I think Lux is a good attacker. Next thing I know, I'm up my britches and purple berries. Right. Let's brighten up their day. I don't think Lux is a good attacker. I'm not finished. Hamster asks, has anybody tried Nami, Freljord, Starless Seer, Big Overwhelm? I have not, but you can also go elusive with that. You know, like there's, you know, like the Starlet Seer, Bilgewater, Elusive decks. You could still, like, all the elusives that, you know, like those are all, like, in Bilgewater, so you could still kind of do that. Don't necessarily need Overwhelm. But you still, you could have some Overwhelm, like, especially the, like, the, the two mana tough. All right, seems like a good time to play Radiant Guardian, and then we'll have Barrier slash Sharp Sight for protection. Justice will be served. So have we taken eight damage from Puff Cap so far? Come on. <laughs> I would have just would have rather discarded the monster harpoon. Alright, there's Nami. Okay. So I want to work on the attune mana, but let's see. If we play Nami, we have eight mana. If I play this first, no, we should probably just play Nami first. Planning on Concerted Strike this round, because I think that they, they may, like, block Radiant Guardian, kill their own blocker kind of thing. Like, we're probably going to need to Concerted Strike with the Radiant Guardian this round. But hopefully I can go, like, line them up, knock them down first. That's two spells. And then Concerted Strike, and maybe we make Radiant Guardian. It'll either be six or eight. Alternatively, cause they can't—they can't really kill their own blocker, right? With three mana, I don't think they really can. So alternatively, I can just do this. Because I don't think they're going to be able to get rid of their own blocker. I, I'm pretty sure this Radiant Guardian is going to strike. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely striking.
Yeah, I could Sharp Sight Nami and it would give the permanent plus two, plus one there. But then maybe they have like multiple elusives, like multiple Teemos that I'll regret not having that Sharp Sight to just block. <laughs> I could see them using like a pokey stick or something. Po pokey stick, mystic shot, something like that, killing the powder keg. No? Alright. Man, Nami Nami looks pretty good with Radiant Guardian. I've memorized all the battle scout rules. Not gonna lie. Nami and Radiant Guardian look pretty good together. Heroa <laughs> says maybe we just destroyed the meta with this deck. You never know, with all the random decks that we play, one of them's got to destroy the meta, right? <laughs> it is working. I know fear. I felt it too. You know, I just want to kill this Avia Achiever so it doesn't double up everything. But it, if it was something that wasn't as scary as Avia Achiever, you know, we could have Remembranced and then got the final spark and final spark the Avia Achiever. But... Concerned Strike looking better with... looking better than Harpoon, because we do have Radiant Guardian. Yeah, I thought about putting Screeching Dragon in here to go along with Nami, just ch some challengers with Nami. But it's not a Radiant Guardian, like how we could be behind. Okay, so another, like this is, you know, another like burn style deck. This is going to be another matchup where Radiant Guardian is going to be important. But we really want to find Nami right away. I think I'm sending it all back. I really want to find Nami. Well, I'm glad I mulliganed everything, because we just drew more fives and sixes. I'm really glad we didn't keep the Radiant Guardian. Gosh, our hand would look even worse than it does. It doesn't look very good right now. Okay. It's a little better. Wow. That's a thing. Yeah. Man, that card is so good. Yeah. Good play by them. They played this so well too, the way that just the but these lecturing yordles, man. They played that really well by passing and then also by by not open attacking. Hold him back, Radiant Guardian. Hold him back. Hold the line. They should have they should absolutely be attacking. Yeah, there they go. I will end this here. And I think it makes the most sense to block that thing. Like no matter what, we're going to seven. Actually, no, let's block one of these. And then line them up, knock them down. Yeah, then. See, so line them up, knock them down. 
That's one more mana than what I can afford to line them up, knock them down, and then plus Radiant Guardian. Where are you at, Nami? Five? So playing Nami makes it six. Dang, one short. Because if they would play something first, then we play Nami, and if Nami would be leveled up, then, you know, they go to combat and I could just, like, throw a lot of the stuff around. Okay. So we're going to play... Line them up, knock them down, shoot the Yordle. I was one mana short last round from something really nice, and I'm one, you know, from being able to do this and the second Radiant Guardian. We would have had a lot better round last round if I would have had one mana. Probably would have kept the other Radiant Guardian alive as well. But then we were one mana short from having a great round right here with this Nami. I am wearing my goggles. You get all that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so if I, so here's problem. If I block over here, I will end this here, theoretically we go to two, but if they can have any kind of pump spell, Pull back the darkness. or you know, like any kind of one damage thing, like a pokey stick and kill me. So we're gonna block here, theoretically go to four. Cause they just pokey stick their own blocker here. Oh, yeah, I guess I can't I can't block that thing because they pokey stick that thing, can I? So I guess we have to block this? So if they have a pokey stick, this is the only block that keeps me alive. But I hate I hate blocking here because the that cause then alright, so that does one to me, then a pokey stick does another one, and then we draw a puff cap. Gosh, this is awful. This is awful. They have a pokey stick. All right, level up, Nami. Can turn strike. Nami champion spell? Could be good. So we can cast four spells here, give plus eight, plus four to the Radiant Guardian. Oh. Let me play this first. Yeah, I'm just worried that they're gonna pokey stick like their own like they'll just be able to block pokey stick their own thing, but still they gotta get around Radiant Guardian. If they do that, it's not gonna be easy to get around Radiant Guardian. Deal me in. Oh. Well that's unfortunate. Hold it, partner. So that's a way to get around the first Radiant Guardian. So that didn't work out well. But 
we have 10 power Radiant Guardian in play, so... And we healed our Nexus for four. Bilgewater is mine and mine alone. I think my best play is line them up, kill stone stackers. I think that's my best play. But then again, I go line them up with that, then they just use like pokey stick kill. Ugh, and so I don't actually do two damage. I could play Lux. So yeah, I guess maybe it is Lux then. The sun is shining. We should too. Yeah. If I yeah, if I line them up Lux, then gives them the powder keg for the gangplank to pull, and the gangplank just goes first with pulling the powder keg and we lose. So yeah, they're gonna put the gangplank last. Move aside, small fry. Never back down from what you believe. Number six. Hold back the darkness. Negative one. Stay back. La, 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 la. Shine with me. Do 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 do. So this kills the powder keg, of course, and you know kills the Lux. But this, you know, would kill Gangplank. This is my best way of keep staying alive for the most, with the most health. Depending on what they have, what they're able to do. What obviously means our Lux dies, and our uh, Nami is very vulnerable to dying shortly thereafter. I did want to play Blinding Assault last round, and then they Pokey Stick and kill my Valor last round. I want them to kill the Valor. You know, I want the Valor to die this round. Um, the problem with like going Scout Challenge Twisted Fate is that then they could play another Twisted Fate and Stun Radiant Guardian, as we've seen. So I probably want to attack with. But the good thing is that then we would play the Remembrance afterwards. Twisted Fate's at 2 out of 9. It's not likely that thing levels up anyway, right? Let me just kill this. Yeah. What's up? Sixteen power life steal, but that's all I got. I don't have anything else. Uh, really, really want to draw like a salvage. We have two salvage in here to like refill our hands. Um, other card advantage is sprayfin, so I think those would be our best draws: sprayfin, salvage. It's like the only thing that we can't see. Hopefully hit the powder keg. Nope. You're like the only card in the deck that's possibly gonna kill us. Hold back the 
Alright, so the Gangplank should definitely be first on their side. That's a mistake, not having the Gangplank first. Stay back. Now I get to just take all this extra damage. Yeah, Dreadway would have been the only thing, but I, I don't think they have Dreadway in their deck either. That would have been the only thing worse than Gangplank. But I don't think they have that in their deck. Man, we are not drawing well. Make it rain succession, make it rain for our last three draws. These cards just don't really matter. Yeah, you're probably right there, Hamster Bump. I guess I could have blocked. Twisted Fate. The reason why I'm not playing these spells is because of this. <clears throat> we have our champions, Nami, Lux. We want spells after we after we find our champions. Uh, they have to have a a three damage thing. It's not that likely, right? So that was the worst make it rain we could have. I guess I shouldn't have played that make it rain. Should have been more patient. Getting rewarded. I'm not going to play, like, Secession right now, even though we'd make a Final Spark, but they have nothing to Final Spark, so I'm going to wait for them to have play something to Final Spark and then play Secession. Yeah, Fortune Croaker would help with card draw, but it just doesn't really... It's not really that good with our deck. It's not so... You know, we, you never want to play it early because you want to save spell mana for Nami. It'd be something, like, really late to have. Um, but it's also not a spell. It's almost... I don't know. It's... You just play a spell that draws cards instead. Plus, you, there's a lot of things you don't really want to... Like, you can deal damage to a tough Radiant Guardian, but there's a lot of things you don't really want to do damage to. Wow. I either let that die, or I... Yeah, I guess I just, I just have to let it die. That's really too bad for me. They just had all spells and not any, not any units. All right, I'm gonna play you. Probably not gonna be a radiant guardian, it'll probably be something else. Yeah, like the screeching dragon. <laughs> yeah, this this one game has probably taken as much time as the entire thrall game, that's true. It's probably true. Run 
Three hundred fourteen. So basically, every other card has a puff cap on average. Or we draw three puff caps with two cards. All right, then the two cards at the bottom that we toss had zero puff caps among them. <laughs> we drew half of those puff caps in those three cards. When there was, they were on 19 cards, we drew half of them on the top three. Okay. And there we go, 2 and 0. Oh, Radiant Guardians have been saving us. Yeah, was our that one Radiant Guardian ended up being like a 12 13? That's pretty big. Lulu Poppy. We're not going to be able to stop the Bandal Tree. So that's kind of a bummer. I'm only because we want Nami. Right, we really want Nami. Yay, Nami! Really? We're doing that these days? Do I need to just make it rain? I don't want to make it rain. I want to pass and save spell mana. What is this? three right now. This is going to be five. Alright, so I don't level up Nami next round. Anyway. So this only costs one spell mana, like saving one spell mana to play. So basically, Nami's going to go to four instead of five. Yeah, we have good luck. Boy, I tell you what, we got some good luck. I should have been playing Twisted Fate instead of Lux. Red card this opponent. I have to do this. My people are counting on me. Small fries. They, I would have preferred them just to open attack, and then I could have blocked, and then played a Radiant Guardian. That would have been great. Right, they're just challenging there. Why don't I just play Sprayfin? Yeah, what am I doing? Why don't I just play Sprayfin? Or why don't I just line them up, kill that thing? Hmm. I will hold the line. Try me. I dare you. Okay, that was just poor play by me, probably. Yeah, that was just poor play by me. I should not have played that. Then. Or I should not have played the Nami. This is a really, really poorly played game by me. A very poorly played game by me. But we learn from our mistakes. You know, I, I'm not going to just always just post the best games. Um, you know, we want to learn from our mistakes. 
a mistake there with the Nami. But uh, our opponent was super aggressive, and they were really paid off for it. They, they were very, very aggressive and uh, played well. Okay, back to Twisted Fate Gangplank that we saw was an incredibly long game before. These decks are so aggressive, I want them just to chill a little bit. Let me save up some spell mana for my Nami. Pass. But if you think about that hand that my opponent also had, it was incredible. And the last two games our opponents have had absolutely amazing round one, round twos. <laughs> They've had perfect round one, round two, three games in a row. We won one, we lost one. Best case scenario, I play Blinding Assault, then play Nami, then play a spell that buffs up Blinding Assault. But we know they're going to kill Blinding Assault like immediately if I do that. So let's just lead with the Make It Rain. We actually got some <laughs> some good luck this time with our Make It Rain. And now we'll play Nami. The Mirai will never know fear again. How about that? So their Tenet of the Terror didn't make the other thing. We, we have the Nami that's leveled up, and I guess they are like, I'm, I'm done playing. Okay, we got a mirror match. These are these are ranked games, right? Like, so this isn't just like normal and somebody just surrendering and normally. These are these are ranked games. All right, no Nami, no keep. Where you at, Nami? You think Nami should have a limit on how many buffs per round? We are so much worse at this game than our opponent. So I was hoping they would spend their mana right there and not be able to protect Zoe. That's what I was hoping, but that's not the case. Yes, we got a spray fin at least. by Zoe. Okay, so both of our Namis are leveled up.
Justice will be served! So doing this, of course, to get rid of the spell shield. Nami buffing up. <laughs> Gonna be buffing up the dragon chow. Alright, so we we were the first one to play an Ami. That's good. And there's Zoe's at six. Seven. Eight. If they have the plus zero plus two card, they level up the Zoe, that'd be bad. Sweet. Because they can play the du Dust Petal Dust and then plus zero plus two, and that's ten. Or Moon Whip. Yeah, that works too. Just basically any spell that costs two or less mana. There's always started this round at, what, like five? Four? Like a harpoon draw, that could be good against their Nami. Five mana card also. Gives them all life steal. Yep. Lux. Fancy seeing you here. So they have the line them up, the knock them down. Oh, we've played other spells. Double, we played Double Trouble, Secession a couple of times. Alright, so seven. We can do this. I think we can live with seven. Nami and Lux. So these things hit for the most. Two power. Also, we get the most overwhelm. Oh, they took succession. <laughs> Nami just been busy buffing up these dragon chows and. Like, imagine, like, what if this Remembrance got uh, Screeching Dragon? Screeching Dragon would have, you know, hit the Dragon Chow and not even killed it. That's probably not worth attacking with Nami. Attack with Lux? Yeah, that's fine.
So we got rid of a board full of elusives. I will find the moonstone. I will save my people. My people are counting on me. Alright, so I want to do this for the other three mana for Lux. So now that if we go Monster Harpoon, um, you know, it's another six mana. in the world. Monster Harpoon, because we're just going to sharp side and block that thing. will do. Four and one for Nami Lux. We were first to find Nami. And that was the difference. We both had lots and lots and lots of spells. Just who's going to find Nami first. And there we go. That was a great showing for Nami Lux. A good 4-1 record with the one loss uh, being one that I think I could have played better where my opponent had a really, really aggressive hand. And they did, they did great with it. They had like, you know, multiple Lulus. Um, and a very aggressive hand with all the challengers and stuff. And so that was our loss. No shame losing that one. But we also played against some other really good aggressive hands as well. And we're able to come out victorious in, in those other ones going four and one. It looked nice having all these spells like with Nami, right? Because like once we had a Nami, like our hand was always just spells. Once we had a Nami, then you know we're buffing stuff up incredibly with that plus two, plus one to, to everything. That was awesome. Nami looked great with Radiant Guardian making Radiant Guardian huge. That looked really good. But then even Lux, you know, like once we played Lux, we again had lots of spells. That's one thing about Lux is that with Lux costing six mana, it's difficult to then also have lots of mana for spells after Lux, because usually Lux is like at the end of the game. And so having everything be spells meant that we are able to have final sparks a little bit more often. So I have to, I have to say that I liked it. I was pretty impressed with it. it um, yeah, I think that it worked very well together. So maybe you could use some more card advantage, but there's not a whole lot of like just draw to play with the spells. Could play like another salvage, I suppose. I could see kind of struggling a little bit in like against like darkness control, right? Like something like that. I could see struggle like where they can have enough things to kill all your stuff and then just have they can generate more darkness and have more card advantage than you. Um, but overall, I think I was very impressed with that and. And I think this could be a real deck, and I think this could be a real, you know, Lux deck, right? People, you know, people say that Lux isn't playable and nobody plays Lux, but I think this could be how we can do it. All right, so that's it for Nami Lux. So those, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. And if you try it out yourself, if you've been looking for a Lux deck, let me know. Let me know how it goes for you. I'd love to hear the feedback for this one because this deck did feel pretty strong. So let me know how you like it. All right, but that's it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.